Well, hello and welcome to an episode of Camilla and I. And uh, we're doing an equipment review today on Camilla and I, just a quickie. And uh, yeah, we're here at Lynmouth, North Devon. Marvellous beach. Just flip you around. Yeah, look at this for a view, folks. Absolutely incredible over the Bristol Channel towards Wales. Very clear today here at Lynmouth. Absolutely superb. And uh, loads of holiday makers. Yeah, August special. Anyway, the reason we're here today is stability. And um, yeah, I've set this, uh, set this little stone pyramid up. It's quite a popular area for stone building and uh, yeah indeed it's hard to believe that the uh, official globe model is uh, we're uh, hurtling through space chasing the sun at twice the speed of a bullet and indeed the earth rotates of course at 1,000 miles an hour 24,000 miles in diameter hence making up the hours of the day 24 hours in a day yet we can place stable rocks just like this absolutely incredible that this is the case and of course photography is all about stability and uh, maintaining a similar position so we want to replace these rocks with quick throw those around we're going to replace it with a Su-Ray product. So here we have the Su-Ray 3T15 kilogram V00K in its box. And this is a tabletop tripod which supports five kilograms of camera equipment. So when you open the box, this is what you get. A uh, mini little tripod absolutely dinky little number which uh, folds down for storage in this case which is provided as well so we have a very portable tabletop tripod here absolutely superb and it comes with a Arca Swiss plate mount this one here it's got a ball head Oops. and a rotating collar absolutely gorgeous and the important thing is it supports five kilograms of camera equipment yeah so here we have five kilograms capacity to handle we've uh, currently got the 70 to 200 millimeter Sony G Master 70 to 200 millimeter lens on and the camera body and this probably weighs about three kilos so this is easily supportable and uh, this sort of support is very convenient for something like a hide in a nature reserve where you can put it on a shelf and operate from the hide absolutely superb so uh, yeah ball mount it will drop to the side obviously for portrait shots but we'd recommend using the rotating collar on this particular lens to get to portrait to landscape and uh, yeah just a solid piece of metal um, a great product from the Su Ray range currently I think they're about 79 pounds uh, they do occasionally come up on offer so it's probably worth waiting for an offer but uh, yeah a very useful product, a handy little package, and it only weighs, oh, it's about one and a half pounds, if that. I'll put the uh, weight below. Amazing. So obviously, stability is absolutely key. And uh, just as we require a firm, stable background, also 
Carmilla requires a firm, stable background. You don't want erratic movements of the camera. And there's only so long you can hold a particular pose, even in a very good braced off position. So sometimes in a hide situation, it's very useful to have some sort of mini support which will sit on the shelf of a hide because you can't always get in a full tripod mount and uh, indeed you're not very popular with the other occupants of the hide if you try and get in a full hide uh, get in a full tripod in a hide so uh, yeah so that's wrap so the Sioux Ray mini tripod which supports five kilograms of weight so quite a good lens we could put the 200 to 600 millimeter lens on here for example and even at a real push the 600 millimeter f4 because this supports five kilograms of weight obviously we're not going to be able to pan quickly round with just a ball head but it's surprising how flexible you can be it's a very good solution in some tight spots anyway have a good one bye from camilla and i and and the beach at linmouth oh a lot of holiday makers around oh it's lovely beautiful have a good one